Today we got ourselves a truck that was designed for the end of the world. This thing is something unlike anything you've ever seen, so we got an absolute banger. Make sure you watch until the end of the video. This is the Apocalypse 6x6 Juggernaut. This thing is absolutely huge, but I want to start off with the front because the front is what you see coming at you on the road and it's pretty freaking intimidating, right? So over here, the first thing I want to show you guys are like the wings. I mean, when have you ever seen wheel wells pop out that far out? I mean, look at this thing. The lift on this truck is about half a meter and you have the skid plates to basically run anything over. And if you look at it, if you look carefully, this is about the same height as like the front of a Lamborghini Huracan. So this is like a Lamborghini destroyer. At the front, they have what they call a grumper. And that's a word that we've never used on this show before. But basically, it's a grill and a bumper. And you have a quarter thick steel to basically protect you, protect the engine. And it looks freaking badass. They've actually carved out the word juggernaut in there. Pretty cool. And if you think that a part of this car looks a little bit familiar, that's because this is a Ram TRX. The difference is that they basically completely stripped it and modified just about everything on the outside. If you guys think that the outside is crazy, they've also done some stuff to the inside. And trust me, <laughs> it looks freaking wild. On the side, you see that? 6.2 liter supercharged V8, and this thing produces 850 horsepower. You're not gonna believe how crazy this thing sounds when I turn it on. I'll make you guys wait for it. I'll, I'll, I'll turn it on later in the video. These are 40 inch tires, 22 inch rims, and the clearance on this is one and a half meters. These are the highest fenders I've ever seen in my entire life, like on a, on a road legal truck, right? It's freaking crazy. It's absolutely unnecessary, but it looks insane. When you go over to the side, you'll see that here you have a light up badge, A for apocalypse, lights up, pretty cool, why not? And look at the angle from here, man. I mean, just look at it, dude. It looks freaking crazy. Right there, juggernaut, carved out in aluminum. So basically what they've done is they carved out the entire Ram TRX and they've completely redone the back. So this is not part of the original. They've done this themselves. Obviously the best part of this car is that the fact that it's a six by six. So what's crazy is that every single one of these wheels brings power. They're not just there for decoration. This is a fully full-time six by six truck. And when you get up closer, you'll see the size of the suspension is absolute insanity. Look at these springs, man. Look at these coils. What the hell? They've even carved out the A for Apocalypse in there. All right, so let's go to the back. First, we got to acknowledge this Bedliner Apocalypse logo at the back. I mean, this thing just screams testosterone. It screams like energy drinks and violence and explosions and all kinds of heavy metal drums. <laughs> Freaking electric guitars and fucking sparks flying out of my hands. That's the kind of feeling you get when you're at the back, right? Also, you have this Bedliner bumper at the back. Pretty badass. What's cool is that it's like hollow. Instead of it having a cover, you can actually like literally put your fingers in there. And then you got this thing just spiking out as well. Give me the keys, I wanna open the back. Come on. All right, ready? So all I gotta do is click this button right there like that and watch what happens. Oh yeah. Completely automatic. I think that's sick. If you're wondering, yes, it does open. It does still actually, it's not just for looks. You can actually fit a ton of stuff in here. Also, bed liner material. All right, I wanna show you guys the inside because the inside is also freaking crazy. But if you're wondering about like length, this thing is 6.9 meters long. That's almost seven meters. That's crazy. And also height wise, this is 2.24 meters tall. So I mean, it's just probably one of the biggest road legal cars you can drive. All right, you guys wanna see the inside? Open it up. First, you need the power step. Unless you got like crazy hops to get in there, but check out the inside. The first thing I think you're all gonna see is a starlight roof. This is like a monster truck, but it's got a Rolls Royce interior, baby. Luxury. Look, you'll step inside, ready? Should I try to step inside without the power step to show you what that would look like? Yeah, I'll try. So luckily there's a handle. It's a lot easier with the step though. All right, get in there. Back here, it's pretty luxurious, man. I mean, you got a lot of leg room, you got a lot of head space. It's comfortable, it's luxurious. You got leather, it's squishy. Look at the squish factor on this, you see that? Pretty squishy. Harman Kardon right there. 
extra good sound system. But yeah, let's show you guys what the front looks like. Check that out. Oh yeah. In case you can't remember if it's uh, six by six or not, you have it right there on the stitching as well. Here you have some of the original branding like Ram. What I like about Apocalypse is that they actually had another Ram truck that they turned into a six by six and they flipped the logo so that it says war. So when you look at it from the front, it just says war. The truck is called Warlord, <laughs> which is pretty freaking epic. The Starlight roof, I got this little magic keyboard. I can change the color. So if I want it to be like, I don't know, red, press that, boom, red. Turquoise, yellow, that's the Sergi yellow, by the way. All right, so right here, you got a 12 inch screen. And what's also cool is from the inside, you can see like the framing of the car. Look at that, you can just see the casing right there. Dude, I feel like I'm in a freaking tank and I'm not even joking. I can't wait to drive this thing on the road. So start, stop, right here. I think you all wanna hear how it sounds like, right? Oh, copyright. So different modes, TRX right there, I'll press TRX. Cool, all right, ready? You wanna hear how it sounds? Go to the back, go to the outside. Oh, by the way, interesting, it's rear view camera um, because if you look backwards, you can't see absolutely anything. Do you hear the ringing in your ears, man? Dude, I heard that from here. <laughs> oh my God. Oh man. Is your dog okay? My dog would be shaking like a leaf if you heard that. <laughs> All right, anyways, it's time to take this thing for a spin. Let's go. Let's floor it. <laughs> that is crazy. It's crazy because this is such a heavy car, but at the same time, like it accelerates so fast. It doesn't feel like you're carrying six million pounds. Dude, I'm so high up. I can't believe that this is road legal. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a, like a bulldozer or something with a supercharged V8. But I don't know, man, we got a red light. I think we got to launch it. Should I rev it next to this, uh, this little sedan? Oh no, wait, we've got a green light, ready? I think he probably hit himself a little bit. Like the video, subscribe to the channel.